Hello and welcome to Conrad Seidel's Beer of the Week. Um, this week we're, we're not talking about beer, or, or we're talking about beer, but not only about beer, we're talking about beer glasses. One thing is, uh, you will see that in, in many Conrad Seidel's Beer of, Beer of the Week episodes, I'm using this glass because I think it's, it's a good glass. But uh, there's, there's so many interesting influences that you have in beer glasses that we wanted to do a special on how uh, the glass influences your perception of the beer. Because obviously, uh, we, we all have our prejudices. Like if you have these two glasses, which are both meant for longer style beers, it's obvious that you have a different perception from this glass and from that one. Uh, like when you take a lager beer, you take a German style lager beer, which is some export beer. But if you if you pour this into the proper glass, which would be this one, this is what it looks like. It's uh, it's a bold beer. If you take it here, it's the same beer, but it's, uh, it's a completely different perception. Even the color. Uh, this, this, this looks much more straw colored, whereas this is golden colored. Uh, you expect that this would be the hoppier one and this one would be the, uh, the bolder one. And in fact, these this prejudices, they, they really work. You get some nice residual sweetness from that one. and some hoppiness from this one. Why is that so? It, it has to do with uh, the form of the glass. Like you look at it and you get different ideas of what might be in that glass. If you top up, you'll see that uh, these two beers look different and that this one here would look more elegant. But there's more to it. Uh, these are classic beer style series glasses and uh, if you form your lips to drink from this glass look at my lips it's a completely different form of lips than you have to or have to which draw the mouth so this this changes your perception of the beers and that's that's, that's crucial to understand that uh, even if this is the same beer from the same bottle, these beers might be perceived as something completely different. Uh, so the same holds true for, for wheat beers. If you, you think of uh, a classical German-style wheat beer glass, you, you, even before I open the bottle, you will have the idea what this wheat beer would smell like, what it would taste like, because we all know what to expect from a German style wheat beer. And this is exactly what you get here. You get banana, you get uh, cloves, and you can, can taste that. Well, uh, if you took that same style of glass for a Belgian style wheat beer, or they call that wit or blanche, or for an American style wheat beer, which uses a different uh, yeast strain, well, that would not work. Uh, but there's, there's brewers that develop, together with glass makers of Spiegelau, uh, a glass that's very good for. American style wheat beer, but it also works for the Blanche, the uh, Belgian style wheat beer. It makes it softer, which is actually very good to, to have a uh, sort of soft version of that beer. And it adds to the, the perceived spiciness of the beer because you get some some really interesting um, 
spice flavor also also, also citrus citrus zest and a very soft touch to it so this is like uh, if you had the same beer from a from a standard glass like this it would be completely different uh, so it's it's very important to, to, to know that you can sort of have your specific glass for every beer uh, if you care to to work out on it and to, to really develop uh, on on that specific beer to get the get the right form of the glass and you see there's there's more glasses that we have here and we will compare them next time and uh, I hope you join me for another special on, on, on beer glasses because there's so much to taste and uh, I look forward to do that. Cheers.